Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto and today we're in downtown Mineral, Virginia. Just stopped for a quick drink uh, and it's just beautiful around here. I wanted to show you around a little bit, but um, I'm actually stopped and got a Coke Spice Zero. I've never had one of these before. It's pretty good. Across the railroad tracks from me, I have the town's water tower. Welcome to Mineral fire department and then across the, the street here we have the original uh, train station for mineral which is uh, very in very good condition it looks like probably take a closer look at that before we roll out some of the buildings you can see are very uh, historic and still standing It's got a nice small town country feel to it uh, and there's like these I don't know what these trees are that are right by the, the tracks here but um, they almost look like some sort of uh, like apple tree I don't know I'm no I'm no arborist but let's roll we're gonna go for a ride today around uh, Lake Anna and I'm hoping that it'll be really scenic and beautiful so please come along with me and I appreciate you uh, subscribing and hitting that like button just thankful for for you watching today all right let's roll all right so trying something a little bit different today uh, a new audio recording method and uh, let's do a quick walk around of the fat boy I did add uh, a new oil cooler stone protector here at the front, and this is by Emery Accessories. They're located in Australia, but shipped. This thing was only, I think, 40 something dollars. I'll put a link in the description to it if it's something you're interested in. I think they sell it for several different models, um, and, and this comes in some different colors, too, so you can kind of accessorize it for your motorcycle. But it'll help uh, keep the stones from uh, impacting this oil cooler in the front here. This bike does not have a kickstand sensor. And I have already ridden off a few times with the kickstand down. It goes right up, but it kind of freaks me out. So there's a red ant crawling on my, on my mirror. All right. Experimenting with uh, new audio recording method for the exhaust. And that is, I'm using a, so normally I have, uh, I don't know if you can see it down here on my pocket, I have uh, a lav mic hooked to my pocket with the wind muff on it or whatever you call it, dead cat. And um, normally I record with a Tascam audio recorder and I have it in like a fanny pack or a backpack or something like that. Problem with that is that uh, it's been kind of moving around and uh, Sometimes I get unwanted audio pops and funny noises, so I'm hoping this is going to be cleaner audio. We'll see how it goes. All right. I just love this downtown mineral area right outside of Lake Anna, and a local gave me some directions. Uh, to, to kind of ride around the, the lake. I wanted to take a uh, look at this train station. It's awesome. I, I guess you can't go in it, but... Got a little uh, mural on the wall over there. I guess this is where they have their farmer's market here in Mineral. And way over on the wall over there, there's a, uh, a painting with um, with the train station and, and an old train. That's pretty cool. Um, probably, let's see if I can ride up to that. get a little closer anyway there's tire tracks all through here so I didn't 
didn't see any signs that said I couldn't come back here. I don't want to get in trouble or anything, but... Yeah, that was worth a little ride over here. That's cool. It says the, uh, I guess the artist name is on the lower left here. Janice, I don't know, Abercrombie? Yeah, that's it. Janice Abercrombie. Mineral, Virginia, Mineral Depot. Very cool. Worth checking out. Glad I took a little ride over here. I'll take it easy in this grass here. Never ridden in grass before. It's incredibly slippery. Just take it smooth. It's not a big deal. It's a pretty church. A little playground across the street. Might be a fun place to come with the kids. Not really sure where he would park for that playground. Maybe over here. Okay, now I need to go back over there. So that's a dentist's office. I was wondering what that building was. Yes, the lady at the gas station over there, she was very nice. I said, what's the best way to ride around Lake Anna? She gave me all sorts of good directions, so... We're gonna follow 618 here. And this road is supposed to take me to... 652, which is Elk Creek. It's like 80 degrees out, I... I left the house without my coat, my uh, armored jacket, and it was just, it was cool. It felt good, but it was a little cool uh, at the time, and I also felt kind of naked, so I actually turned around and went back and got my coat. But now I'm like dying because I uh, was stationary for a little while. That's 6.57, so keep rolling. Ugh. That looked like a dead snake. Snakes are my, not my thing. I never saw a speed limit sign that said I could go faster, but it looks like I can. But I don't have a GPS in front of me, so I'm just going to kind of keep it around 35 or 40 and hope for the best. That, that's cool. It's like a 82, 83, something like that. I don't know. I've actually, when I was a kid, I uh, I had posters of the early 80s. Uh, ZR1, Corvette ZR1, all over my wall, and that would be a cool car if I could get a hold of one that was still drivable, and I'm not talking about Cherry, because I'm sure they go for a lot of money, but an early 80s Corvette, just to kind of tool around with, maybe one day, the question is, would my wife allow it? Or would I have to, like, pick between that and a motorcycle? In that case, that's a no-brainer. Everybody else is going really fast, so... I'm going to assume this is a 55 zone, or unposted. Alright, that's 700. Looking for 652, which is Elk Creek. Okay.
I did look at it on Google Maps to kind of get an idea of where I was going. And yes, I could have programmed something into the GPS, possibly. But I think part of the adventure is trying to figure out how to get there. Okay, buddy. I guess they're, uh, looks like maybe trying to bury some cable or something. Gosh. All these larger vehicles on this road. None of them want to stay in their lane. I'm starting to feel a little more confident than I when I first got this uh, fat boy this rear tire being so fat it's, it's it handles a little differently than any bike I've ever had but I'm starting to feel oh that was a big bump <laughs> starting to feel a little more comfortable in the turns Remember that outside, inside, outside, outside of the turn to the inside of the outside, make a straight line out of it. All right, the speed limit sign. Sorts of interesting things riding down this road today. I don't know this road at all, so I'm not going to go flying down it either. I ordered uh, two more GoPro batteries for my camera because my GoPro keeps dying on me. It's good for about 50 to minutes to an hour on average. It's, I am recording in 4K, so that probably has something to do with it. But, gosh, batteries aren't terribly expensive, so that's good. I got two batteries, two Enduro batteries, and um, and a dual battery charger for like 60 bucks. This road is awesome. Got to go back to that gas station and thank that lady. She was she was amazing. 650. And here I am in Buckner, Virginia. Never heard of it. station. Sorry. Right in the middle of this thought. But that's cool. It's like a lone fire truck hanging back there. Okay. I don't know which way I'm going. 
but I think I was supposed to go that way, so I may need to turn around. What I was saying is, uh, before I get distracted by the fire truck, is uh, a lot of people don't, um, they never ride a motorcycle, they never take chances on certain things uh, out of fear. And while I, I feel like fear is a good thing because it can keep you alive. Like, let's just, let's face it, not everybody is maybe cut out for riding motorcycles, but, you know, a lot of people are, are too afraid to even try it, and I feel like they, they miss out. All right, let me see. Can I get there from here? I think this is the answer. Oh, gosh. This is a... Hmm. Talk about fear. <laughs> Gravel. Blind hill crest. Okay, I'm back on the road I'm supposed to be on, I think. stops us from taking a lot of chances in life and that can be a good thing but it can also limit you know really limit your enjoyment of life too okay that's 701 some of these roads are some of the ones that I thought I was supposed to go on oh. figure it out 654. I'm looking for 652. <laughs> I feel like I'm close. Something huge just hit me in the helmet. Either a bug or a rock or something. One of those days I'm glad I wear a full face helmet. I've been hit with all sorts of stuff. In the head, in the face, in the arm. I remember I was, I was riding one uh, time in the uh, autumn, fall, whatever, and this big, like, pig nut? Hickory nut? I don't know what, what big thing fell and, and uh, hit me on the arm. I was going about, you know, 50, 55 miles an hour. That, took, that thing left a, a welt on my arm. That hurt. I was uh, glad that didn't hit me in the head. with the full face just uh, kind of scares you a little bit okay I now it says I'm in Hanover so I definitely think I passed my my lake road which is uh, kind of makes me upset because this whole video is supposed to be about the lake oh well it's still a pretty ride there's a reason for everything. A lot of people out mowing today. Good day for it. Wow, this little uh, building here got some kind of vine, ivy or something growing all over the side of it. It's really pretty. station pressing I know it's necessary I hate seeing that it's like 10 15 degrees cooler it feels like when you get in the shade Feels good. I uh, don't get to experience that in a car. This road just goes and goes and goes. I'm 
like waiting to pop around the next corner and be like, oh, I know where I am. But uh, so far, that's not happening. But I know that I am in Hanover County somewhere. Ah. Okay, I've been here before. Look at that Sunny Bear Homestead open. I think this is going to take me towards 208. God bless the post office. USPS. Out here every day. You know, it's funny because um, during COVID, uh, when everything was totally shut down and the U.S. mail was like the only thing one of the few things that it was still allowed to, to operate, uh, you know, it kind of gave me, me uh, some hope, you know, in a place when, it, in a time when it was easy to kind of get downtrodden and maybe depressed a little bit because everything was shut down, couldn't get out of the house, whatever. Uh, there they were at your mailbox every day to kind of remind you that, you know, you're not alone. Reminds me of the, the movie, uh, The Postman, Kevin Costner, I think. Yeah, Kevin Costner. That was a pretty good movie. Post-apocalyptic world, busy stuff going on. Nice. Start up a Pony Express to kind of give people hope. And oh, 208. There we go. I believe this road will take me out close to the Spotsylvania battlefield area. So that would be a great place to kind of roll up. Check out. Look pretty. C. Melvin Snow Memorial Library. Marshall Center. Aha, yes. Two miles to the battlefield. Proof that I am not crazy. Possibly. Wow. Oh, that dude had a little kid on the back. I'm not a big fan of that. I think that's pretty irresponsible. Say, wait till they're a little older. I'm excited to see this battlefield area. Let's pray that my battery holds out. Here we are, Spotsylvania Courthouse Battlefield. Passing through this whole area. But wait, it gets better. It's a very historic area coming up. Okay, here it is. Spotsylvania Courthouse Battlefield. Sure, I still got some juice in the camera. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing back here.
just think it's amazing how they've taken a place where there was so much bloodshed and made it such a peaceful place. You don't have to pay to come in here. all sorts of trails. So cool back here. A lot of people use it for fitness, walking, running. Confederate trenches. See this raised up area here? This place is humongous. Like, Crazy, you can still see these trenches dug out. Not really sure where I'm going at this point. It said Lee's second home was that way. It's just, this place just goes and goes. Well, I take that back. <laughs> End of the road. Drive, Lee's second line. Sorry, not second home. Somebody walking way out in the field there. Should we go down this way? Looks a little uh, fun for the motorcycle, right?
that was uneventful. I'm sure if we get out and walk down some of these trails, there might be some cool stuff, but... Luckily, it's not too dusty today. Uh, I think we had some rain here recently, so not terribly a lot of dust getting kicked up. Bunch of crazy potholes. This place is amazing. Creek there. 